I think we can all agree that AI models can seem really smart, often exhibiting behavior that sure looks like reasoning, but is not. And I could just end the video there, right? The end. But I think this is a really important question to consider because as AI evolves, people keep asking this question, can it reason? And you start to realize that we need better definitions of what reasoning and thinking actually are. This video is gonna get a little existential, just fair warning. So anyways, let's talk about it. If AI really can't reason, why does it seem like it can? So obviously we have to start with a definition. Reasoning is the cognitive process of drawing conclusions or making logical judgments based on available information, evidence, or premises. It involves drawing inferences from given facts or observations, making connections between different pieces of information, applying logical rules to solve problems, and understanding cause and effect relationships. A big thing about reasoning is that it requires abstraction or the ability to create generalized rules that can be applied to different examples. Do AI models do that? Uh, kind of. So let's pretend that three pieces of data that our LLM was trained on include these sentences. If you drop a glass, it breaks. Dropping a vase causes it to shatter. Glass is fragile and can break. So if we gave the LLM the prompt something like, he dropped the wine glass and it blank, the LLM will likely respond with broke. But does this necessarily mean that the LLM understands gravity or the nature of glass or physics at all? No. Okay, but if that's the case, how is it that LLMs are able to get so many things right? It sure feels like they can reason. So let's imagine that you're studying for a test and your professor graciously gives you the test to study from. So you can memorize all of the questions and even if they were worded a little bit differently, you'd probably still ace the test. But does that actually mean that you understand the material? No, you're just parroting what you've seen before. That's what LLMs are doing just on a bigger scale, right? They weren't given a few dozen questions to study from, they were given the whole damn internet. I mean, with that much information, it's no wonder these things seem like they know what they're talking about. And here's where the lines get a little blurry. Remember what I said earlier about how part of reasoning is the ability to make generalized rules to apply to novel data. AI models actually do that too, albeit not in the same way that humans do. You see, there is a term for when a model performs too well based on the data it was trained on, and this is called overfitting. So let's say you have a graph that has a bunch of data points about people's height and their weight, and you want to be able to predict somebody's height based on their weight. If we drew a line that perfectly hits every single data point, a very naive assessment would be that our model is perfect because it, it gets 100% accuracy when we run it on the training data. But that's obviously bullshit, right? Because our line is way too closely tied to the data we gave it. And if we gave it novel data that was just slightly off, it would completely miss the mark. And so a better prediction line might look like this. Now, obviously this is an extremely simple example, but it illustrates what overfitting looks like quite well. And this is a problem that it doesn't matter what kind of machine learning model you're building, this is always something you have to watch out for. But the thing we have to keep coming back to is it is all about prediction. I think that fact is very easy to forget given how much LLMs get right. The thing is the amount of data these things were trained on we're talking about numbers that people have a hard time fathoming. I mean, people already don't really understand the difference between a million and a billion. Go look up examples with like rice or something. It's, it will blow your mind. I would expect that many of you at this point are chomping at the bit waiting for me to talk about hallucinations because if anything is proof that these things don't reason, it's the fact that they just make shit up. But I'm not gonna go down that route. Why? Because humans are also shit at reasoning sometimes. In different ways, of course. I think there's a better argument to be made here. And I'll present this by starting with a bit of a straw man argument. If all the AI models do is predict stuff based on what they've been trained on, 
Couldn't you make the argument that humans are no different? Think about it from a behavioral scientist point of view, right? We do a thing, we get a reward, we do that thing more. We do a thing, we get punished, we do that thing less. Our actions and thoughts are us predicting what the best next step is based on our lived experience. Is that so different from AI? This is where we start to realize that we're not just asking, does AI reason? We're asking, does it think? How do you define thinking? And where do emotions play into all of this? Emotions play a huge part in our decision-making process. And AI models don't feel. Why? Because they're not living things. Now let's take it a step further, okay? Feeling, all right, and I would even say thinking, is a biological process. And LLMs don't have an autonomic nervous system. They don't have a prefrontal cortex. They don't have an amygdala. I know some of y'all are like, but I can separate my emotions from my thinking. No, you can't. You can't, and we're not having this argument here. Here's another thing. Our emotions are not separate from our physical experiences. Ask anyone who's experienced trauma, the body remembers. So if our body is enmeshed with our feelings and our feelings are enmeshed with our thinking, can AI really think if it doesn't have a body to experience the world? I don't know, I could just be talking out of my ass. Now, despite coming to the conclusion that AI doesn't actually reason, at some point you gotta ask, does it matter? I mean, if LLMs are answering these questions correctly most of the time, who cares how they came to the conclusions? And this is where I will talk about hallucinations. While LLMs have come a really long way, they can still spout absolute nonsense. And as people begin to rely on AI more and more, it is vital that we understand what they are capable of and what they are not. They can be wrong. They can lie to us, not purposefully. I mean, they could just be wrong. Here's the thing about hallucinations. They are often not wrong in the same ways that humans would be, all right? And that's because humans reason. Sometimes not very well, but at least there's some train of thought. But if we believe these things can reason and they're correct so often, then we will also start to trust their ability to reason, which they cannot do. At the end of the day, we cannot forget what they really are. Very, very, very smart parrots. I hope you found this thought experiment rather entertaining. I certainly did. And apologies for not posting a video in a while. I've been kind of busy at work. And also, this is the second time I've tried to film this video because the first time I did it, I realized, oh, I have more thoughts about this. And so I had to add to it. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry you had to watch me in this very wrinkly shirt. I am excited to get back into things and make more videos. If you have topics you'd like me to cover, I have a whole subject about tokenization that I'd really like to talk about. It'll be really nerdy. Uh, we might even get into some mathy shit, not sure. No guarantees. Stop yapping, Annie. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. But at the end of the day, they are, oh, I've got hair in my face. Cool, sweet.